Hi, I'm Dave Rudin, and we're continuing this week to talk to some of the FCAC CIAC Scholar Athlete Award winners. And joining me right now, uh, you know him as one of the stars from the Walton Boys Basketball team, Andrew Smith. Andrew, thanks for joining me, and congratulations on the award. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I mean, you, you've gotten a lot of accolades for basketball. What's it mean to win something uh, that has to do with your accomplishments in the classroom as well? well it's, it's definitely quite the honor. I mean, it just shows that all the hard work in the classroom, all the late night studying has really paid off in the end. Just with the help of like administration, all my fellow like peers, my parents, that all of their help really paid off as well too. So well, we'll get to basketball in a little bit. Let uh, everybody here know the other side of you that uh, takes place before seven o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, uh, I, I know you have a wide range of interests, and you're going to be going to Northeastern. What 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 classes do you like most now, and and what are you thinking about studying in college? Well, right now I've always been a, more of a math based guy, so I've enjoyed math based subjects. This year I'm taking statistics. And my teacher, Mr. Estes, has really like helped me gain a better understanding of how things work and more about mathematics and how to problem solve. So I think that experience this year will definitely help me in college. Okay. And is that going to carry over to what you study at school? Hopefully. I'm going to focus more on finance classes and psychology classes in school. They'll, they'll gain a um, better experience for the outside world. What attracted you to Northeastern? It's a great school. My sister actually goes there, so I've visited multiple times. I've always loved the campus. It's always been a great fit. But then the thing that really sealed the deal was um, their co-op opportunities, which mm -hmm. would provide me with uh, full-time internships throughout my time at the school. And that would help me get a job, gain experience, great opportunities right after, high, right after college. And I know another, another interest of yours is you've been heavily involved at uh, Wilton with student government. Yep. So this, the past two years, I've been the class treasurer, and I'm really looking forward to hopefully doing something with that in college as well. That sounds like with all your interests, uh, you're the right person to handle the money there. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> what about, uh, I know during this last two months, it's been hard to occupy time and, and everybody's gotten bored. I know, what have you been doing? I know one of, one of the things has been a very good charitable effort. Oh yeah, so for the past couple of weeks, I've been working with my mom to make sandwiches for underprivileged communities, so that's filled some time. But then with all the extra time that we have, I've been trying to get outside more, do some yard work, Definitely spending a little too much time on Netflix, so she should probably cut <laughs> down on that. Any um, recommendations? I watched uh, the show Ozark, which I thought I, was really I, just, I, I would say like 80% of the people that I've done these interviews with really? when I ask them have all said Ozark, so. Yeah, um, it's definitely a great show. I, I'm, I'm almost done with like the last show I know of I want to watch, and then I'm subscribing to Netflix and watching it. So good. <laughs> getting back to so you, you and your mom make sandwiches. How do you how do you get them out to the? Is it just going in the Walton area, or, or how does that work? Uh, I'm not entirely sure where they're going, but while we're making them, we make sure we have masks on and gloves, and then we bagging them up, and then my mom takes them to the church, and then they deliver. Okay, them. okay, that's but, cool. Uh, how about a little bit of Wilton basketball here? You've been, I mean, that program has just been on a great upswing for the last six, seven years, and you've been uh, a key part of and, and gotten to be part of this nice era for the program. What's it been like? It's definitely been outstanding. It all started back with, uh, like, Jack Williams, Jack Wood, those guys, but yeah. the main impact has been Coach Garriak, as you probably know, and then Coach Oliver and Coach Tagano. They really just – make a great impact on their players and they make them want to get better all the time. That's really made the program that much better. Your, your fan base is, is one of the best uh, around, uh, arguably the best. And, and the field house is, is just one of the more historic venues here in Fairfield County. So what's it like to play uh, a big game at the field house with uh, hundreds of your classmates watching and yelling for you? It's amazing. It's just, They've definitely given us moments we'll never forget. The tribe has been 
nothing but beneficial for us. They travel the road games. And like you said, the field house is just unlike any other place. It's really made my moments at the high school memorable. Well, Andrew, it's been fun uh, watching you and covering you the last few years. And it's been fun right now learning about the other side of you. That's what I kind of like about these interviews is finding out uh, the parts of the athletes that we don't know about in terms of their academic success and other interests. So congratulations again on the award and thanks for taking the time here and best of luck at Northeastern. Of course. Thank you so much.